Hi everybody, um, I wanted to do a discussion on uh, just looking at the top uh, and most popular neural network libraries and just do a comparison um, of all the different uh, deep learning uh, technologies that are out there. Um, I was interested in using this uh, to study uh, some financial and stock market data. Um, and uh, I was just kind of afraid that uh, certain libraries would not be uh, very publicly supported because it's nice to work with others on the project. Um, so uh, what I did is I did a search and I said most popular neural network libraries and Google shows these and I went through and kind of looked at each of the Wikipedia pages um, and then I finally discovered this page on Wikipedia. It says comparison of deep learning software. And I was looking for something that supported Python and C++. Um, so <laughs> it ruled out some of these. Um, I did look at a couple of them that uh, were using some different languages. Um, and uh, on this, you'll notice that they have an actively developed tab here. So some of these are actively developed, others are not. You can sort it by actively developed if you want, or you can sort it by different ones. So. Um, and then I was also looking for something with uh, support for uh, CUDA. Um, that seems like a very basic thing, um, just uh, having hardware that could help you, uh, some custom hardware. Um, and then I basically just wanted to go into like what all this means. Um, but uh, before we get too far along, um, I thought this graph was really helpful um, and actually very interesting. So you can kind of see here, Perhaps the most interesting fact is that, uh, so this purple line is deep learning, right? So there wasn't a whole lot of interest in deep learning until about 2012, right? That's when it started to pick off. And that's kind of what I remember. Uh, there wasn't even any libraries really, um, it looks like, right? So um, that's obviously not true. When you look at this, you can see Initial releases, these say, you know, you can sort by initial release date, and we could do that uh, reversed. Um, so uh, you can see that some of these were back on 1988, and uh, but these were proprietary ones. So you can see uh, Intel. Um, so I, I really wanted something also that was open source as well. So, um, but in general, if you you know, right around uh, 2012 in this area was when these uh, machine learning libraries were started to release. So you can see it says 2015 for TensorFlow. And you can basically see that this was 2015. So the blue line is TensorFlow. And the interesting thing uh, that I was kind of aware of, I, I feel like I'm kind of a little bit late to the game here by a few years um, in understanding what's going on, but... Uh, in general, uh, TensorFlow is the biggest one, and it was kind of the biggest up until 2018. Um, and then uh, this other one, PyTorch, uh, is way down here, but this is a Facebook library. Um, and I just remember in academic circles hearing people discuss TensorFlow, but uh, I really don't like that it's kind of supported by a company rather than, um, you know, basically, uh, university or something and even PyTorch is also supported by uh, Facebook and so on so but it's also nice to have it be open source so um, now this Apache Spark um, you can see that this was been around for even longer and there's been a lot of searches on this yellow line um, and in fact it's been more popular um, and when I was out in California I just remember people talking about Apache Spark um, and in general this numpy is a general library um kind of just useful for handling numbers and in python so you can see that in general that is even pop more popular uh than all of these combined and but really we want to look at this purple line um and kind of see so on the purple line you can see that machine learning kind of hit its peak uh just last year and it's been kind of going down um since then, uh, 2019. Now you might want to just take a quick look at this just to see um, where people are using what. Um, now I don't know if I would even believe this, but you can see um, in general NumPy being, uh, because it's the biggest, being used almost all around the world. 
and deep learning uh, the topics kind of in the Middle East, interestingly. And Apache Spark, uh, kind of used here in Europe, and then NumPy also, and uh, so on. Now, you can change this to uh, region, and you can do city, and you can kind of see uh, for the big cities what they're kind of doing. So you can just kind of see some deep learning here, TensorFlow, kind of more in the southern part of China, and also NumPy being used here, and then Apache Spark kind of being used on the east coast, and also here. Um, I believe that's in India, um, so a lot of little cities there. So, and if you're interested, you can also change this uh, to United States. You just type in United States, or you can type in your country and even see what the use of statistics are. And this is just for the United States. So here you can kind of see um, that Apache Spark and NumPy are kind of uh, pretty big, and you don't really even see so I, I, I'm hesitant to say, uh, you know, go ahead and just use one that's whatever is the most used. Now on this, they also have Metro, which actually looks a little bit better. And I just wanted to show you that. You can kind of see some details. You can see certain places where they just search for deep learning. And then some yellow with Apache Spark there. And uh, a lot of these NumPy spots. And uh, yeah, so it's just uh, interesting. And you can probably even break it down into city too but <clears throat> this one i've already seen it's not so great but you can see uh kind of so numpy to be specific here is that a lot of people will just write their own code and connect that with numpy um, but from what i understand uh, it is a little bit nice to use a library that uh, has been tested uh, a lot um, so i was a little bit skeptical but I, I may just write my own code as well uh, but in general Okay, so one last thing. So uh, I did compare this to video and deep learning. So as a general search term, artificial intelligence, you can kind of see it's interesting uh, to just see, you know, a loss of interest in 2007 and then kind of a mini peak in 2012 and then another drop in 2014 and then kind of a peak here again in 2019. So you can kind of see this peak slightly above the other peak. But if you compare this uh, to like a video, uh, you know, it's uh, it's just a totally different game. So uh, it's just kind of funny to see it. So artificial intelligence, video searches, uh, kind of way more here. So, uh, and you can also compare this to deep learning. Uh, let's just do neural networks. Let's work. So if you want to do neural network, it's going to be very low on neural network. So basically just almost nothing on neural network. So, you know, people are searching in general for the big topic of artificial intelligence. But uh, when you look at this in terms of the, in terms of the details, it's a little bit different, right? So. Um, so I wanted to talk about this page in particular. So this is a list of data sets for machine learning research. Now I was looking for financial data sets and uh, it's kind of a different deal, but on the right here, you'll see um, some of the main topics. Um, and I just like how this is very simply uh, written. So, uh, you know, we're basically looking at neural networks um, and uh, you know, there's a lot of different uh, types of ideas. So there's artificial neural networks, and, um, but there's also these kind of like more simpler ideas, uh, just detecting like what is a cluster, uh, dimensionality reduction. Uh, so if you have a lot of data um, and a structured prediction, anomaly detection and supervised learning. Um, so in general, um, we're kind of looking at artificial uh, neural networks here um, and they have a lot of data sets here so uh, what I thought was really cool is that you can uh, basically look through all of these um, so that you could try to uh, test your neural network I was going to do mine with financial um, and unfortunately they don't really list uh, they list this one here for financial but I looked at what they had and it wasn't very great but uh, you know basically so they have like things that have already been classified um, so meaning if you have an image of a computer and it's a picture of a computer, there's a text string that says computer. Um, so there's other things uh, and you can kind of do millions of these images. 
So if you look on this, you can maybe find what you're looking for. And then they got a great list here, so you can see the name of the data set. It looks like they don't have links, but they have references, and you can kind of find out what the reference is. So uh, right here, you can see they have 298 videos <coughs> of 200 individuals, um, annotated images. And that's basically the key here, right? Because what we're trying to do is understand things. So on the financial side, uh, we would try to figure out if we would buy or sell. Um, so you can click on this, and they have Dow Jones index. Um, and uh, but the problem is it says just for this so what I had to do is kind of later on I found a couple uh, Yahoo has some historical data and I also noticed that you can download the data here uh, for you just click on max and then I'll download the daily data and it might uh, so kind of a funny thing I found this little search here uh, machine learning uh, deep learning frameworks libraries and so on they try to get into some of the details here but I just liked what they said it was pretty clear um, but at the same time, a little more confusing. But they give this kind of definition of, uh, you know, artificial intelligence um, here, you know, what they can use it for. And then it's kind of a simple definition of machine learning. So uh, I'm not an expert with what machine learning is all about, uh, but I am pretty familiar with the support vector machines. Um, in general, it's a pretty cool way of trying to understand some data. So you can kind of uh, create these... Uh, kind of problem solvers um, but uh, uh, there's all these other things like key means clustering I've worked on some of my own code for that um, and uh, just general neural networks so they have basically this into uh, neural networks and deep learning and basically deep learning is and I think this is kind of a stupid I actually just like a clean definition of just neural networks but they say deep learning includes is like this multi-layer neural network so yes there's like many layers that you could have you might just have a couple layers or something but uh anyway it's just basically neural network um but uh there are different types so convolution is when you mix things and you can uh you know maybe you call them deep neural networks dnns or convolutional neural networks or recurrent neural networks and generative adversarial serial network so this kind of breaks it down into some simple things uh this page goes on and on um and uh you know basically talks about some of these libraries and they had this little picture here i did not find this picture at all helpful and i'm gonna try to get out of there as quick as possible um so but uh it does show just a little bit of a diagram um and uh let me see what else i got here so uh basically there is some discussions um but you can kind of see this is the, the kind of the very vague shape of a neural network i did not read this whole article but i did like what they said they showed a couple just really uh, simple examples um in terms of the code all right so you might create a class so no matter what library i was looking for something where they have a simple class you know, like okay called neural network and it has some weights, an output, and some inputs. So basically, I'm looking for a very simple library, but also complex. Um, and then you have a feed forward. So I'm looking for some kind of function like this in my library, right? Um, and then the most important part is this back propagation. It's not necessarily the most important part, but it's how you train the neural network. So from what I understand, you know, you might create a neural network and in general if it isn't trained properly the little connections in between all of these need to be programmed exactly precisely and so these are little connections here you might have even thousands of these so you gotta do the back propagation right so the better your back propagation kind of and your forward propagation the better your neural network will work i've actually watched this one um this particular one it's a pretty good video um, I didn't find it through here, but uh, it's a good thing. So I just like this page. It's really simple. Uh, makes sense. Um, and there's just some other machine learning algorithms if you just do a search for most important. And it's probably useful just to get to know these, but we're primarily focusing on deep learning and neural networks. So uh, here's a page. This goes on and on um, just with all the applications 
here and uh, things they didn't even list the financial unfortunately but uh, now uh, basically so what my conclusion is after looking at the data is that tensorflow is perhaps one of the most used so I have no knowledge of tensorflow prior to I'm basically working on this right now with you so um, and PyTorch so um, these are the two main ones um, and you know I was looking for some github and they're both on github right so uh, we'll just load that one up and load that one up to look at their github and you know the thing that I liked here was that so I'm using actually Linux right now um, to do this video and it's free and also they support Mac OS Windows Android JavaScript and so on so I'm not exactly familiar with Apache license uh, it would be interesting to find out uh, why Google chose that particular license as opposed to just a general GNU license so um, and I have heard other people talking about the TensorFlow and I don't like the way that I've heard conversations about this it sounds like people are using the Google Cloud I do not want to have to connect up to an external cloud I want to have all the code on my local computer um, so I can test this out um, so uh, uh, so a quick little fact about both of these is that they're not uh, sometimes with github they show the uh, directory path but you can just look at the directory path these are both custom projects um, so you just want to be a little bit careful um, who owns it how long these are gonna last and so on um, but uh, we can just take a look at their uh, personal websites you can see this uh, tensorflow website and uh, from research to production PyTorch so uh, you know a little bit of a costly website maybe but uh, loaded up all right um, and uh, you know I mean uh, maybe we could see the install process and uh, go from there this looks like getting started we do something like that researcher docs blog ecosystem github so um, uh, but basically this would be kind of the procedure that we'd want to uh, kind of review and we could just compare that um, here to Bob PyTorch so uh, uh, so there's certain things I like and dislikes about this so just reading about the uh, history here and kind of comparing it um, you can see that it just doesn't really say much about the history except for you know Microsoft and Facebook maybe Facebook was trying to work here on uh, this and I don't know I just don't like the way that this uh, it's just so simple on uh, what happened with tensorflow here so uh, excuse me this is uh, PyTorch so tensorflow has a lot more details on what happened and it's just nice to know like okay so what's the details how did this get started and what am I getting involved with um, and uh, you know one thing is with this uh, Apache spark again this is hugely this is a huge project so um, you can see it's a lot more detailed here as well so um, you know the, the I, I've, I've heard some other people talking about this and you know I, I, I was just interested in what they were doing um, it looks like a lot of map reduce and uh, working with big data sets so I'm not sure this is the right way to kind of use a simple library for uh, neural networks so this is kind of but I could be totally wrong so um, but uh, it does look like it connects to kind of an SQL database and that's actually what I'm trying to do uh, with this financial uh, data so I want to store a lot of it in uh, a uh, uh, SQL database but uh, so basically we're gonna kind of rule this one out for right now um, just because uh, you know it's it's primarily probably too uh, too custom for uh, databases and the project that I wanted to do is more generalized not just with working with SQL databases and uh, that's one concern I have so you know it's looking like this is kind of the one I wanted to look at um, but certainly um, uh, I would like to check this out a little bit more so 
one thing I thought was interesting, so this is NumPy, this is some OpenCL details, uh, some details about a popular chess engine. If you want to just uh, find some details about a recurrent neural network, you can read this article and convolutional. And there's just uh, some other topics, uh, topics that you might be interested in, um, and uh, deep belief networks and uh, OpenMP. Probably should move this one over here, but uh, uh, but in general, uh, here's the OpenCV project. Aha, this is what I wanted to show you. So I really liked the way that they put a little sample code right in the Wikipedia here. And I do not know that much about this product, but it was listed as the third pretty popular one. So um, at least according to Google search, but uh, I just liked what they were trying to do here. So basically it would create a neural network for uh, this and you can just create an object A and an object B and you can do A plus B is equal to C. And then it kind of creates this uh, Theano function of these two. So, uh, and uh, how that works internally uh, would be a lot of magic and a lot of complexity, but essentially this would maybe pre-train or connect a neural network properly so that it can do some kind of uh, mathematical equation, which is kind of an interesting concept. Um, I really like this idea. I certainly would like to know more about what they're doing.